part of the last dance that left so many people talking, Rod, was about the Bad Boy Pistons and the relationship uh, between the Bad Boy Pistons and the Bulls, and thus, obviously, Michael Jordan and Isaiah Thomas. And I want to, I guess, revisit this issue with you since you were uh, on charge of uh, essentially um, selecting who played in the first or the first major dream team in 1992. How did Isaiah Thomas not wind up on that team? I know you've been asked that many times over the last several weeks, but I'm the first uh, first time I get this shot. So how did he not wind up on that team? You know, Rich, uh, C.M. Newton, who was the uh, athletic director at Kentucky at the time, was the chair of the committee. Okay. Russ Granick and myself, because we were NBA people and we were part of the committee. Right were asked by the committee to talk with the players who uh, we had a meeting in Orlando, I want to say in early April of 1991, where we identified five or six players. I forget exactly what it was, but five or six players that we would, you know, uh, would be essential basically to have on the team. Uh, And Russ and I, you know, contacted those people. Jordan was one of the guys that I contacted, uh, uh, you know, out of that, out of that crew. And, uh, you know, those people agreed that they would uh, participate on, you know, on the team. Uh, Isaiah obviously was one of the guys that was looked at very closely. Uh, he was a tremendous player. Uh, one of the top point guards uh, that we've had in the NBA, uh, there were five or six other guys, uh, James Worthy, Reggie Miller, come to mind, Dominic Wilkins, uh, Kevin Johnson, uh, Tim Hardaway, come to mind right away. Uh, and there were others that were looked at, and the committee, in, in, you know, the committee had, uh, you know, on the Olympic team, you've got 12 players, of which 11 were pros. When you pick all-star teams, you've got 12 on each side, so you got 24 players. And, you know, a lot of guys get left off that you could make a great case for. And in in the case of the Dream Team, there were several people who got left off, prominently Isaiah, uh, who I'm sure if he had been selected, uh, you know, would have been would have been terrific. But uh, the committee did not select. Him. Is the reason why he was not selected that somebody said, I don't want him there? He can't be there because of what's going on. They're, they're, they're not, not, not uh, you know, if you're alluding to a player, no. It had nothing to do with any player. How about anybody? Uh, said anything to, how about any said commissioner? To me, I, you know, there, there were a lot of, you know, there were, uh, the, the um, when the Pistons walked out, uh, didn't shake hands with the Bulls, you know, at the end of, uh, of the, uh, the the first year the Bulls won, I think it was ninety two, maybe ninety one, yes. ninety two, somewhere in there. There, you know, there was there was some angst, you know, among NBA people about uh, you know what had transpired. Uh, the Pistons, uh, you know, played a very very physical game, which upset a lot of people. So uh, there was some angst, you know, I'm not going to tell you that there wasn't some angst, but uh, um, obviously Chuck was the coach of the team. Uh, and although he didn't have anything to do with, uh, you know, with picking other than, you know, making, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, he had like 30 players that he felt we should consider, which we did, you know, the committee did, but uh uh, no, there was no one player or two players or three play- or three players that I've read about who said to me or to Russ Granick for, you know, to my knowledge, that they didn't want to play with uh, any particular player. So um, would you say if Isaiah Thomas shook Michael Jordan's hand at the end of that Eastern Conference Finals right before the Dream Team selection, he would have made it in Barcelona? Would you say that? I can't say that, Rich, but uh, I think it would have helped. But but I, I can't say that for sure. You know, we had we had eleven people on the committee, uh, of which Jack McCluskey was one of, who was uh, the GM of uh, of the Pistons yep. at the time. 
Um, he he later resigned from the committee when Isaiah didn't you know wasn't selected, but he was part of that committee. And so he is that the reason why he resigned because Isaiah was not selected? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 